Hey guys, welcome back to Super Mario World. Sorry if that was really, really loud. It probably was. Um, so I kind of made a screw up. I uh, completed some levels I shouldn't have on my practice run. And I can't really undo that, you know? I, I mean, I've told myself before, it's not really a big deal if I do, though. You know, but now, you know that's super loud. I can't hear myself talk. Stupid net. Okay, I'm sorry. Kind of made a screw up. And, yeah, I completed two levels, the Butter Bridge ones, which is, like, on the two bridges in World 4, it's the upper one. Completed those when I kind of shouldn't have. Sorry about that. I mean, I'll just complete those again to show you, but it's not really anything I can do to undo it unless going through the whole LP again, you know. Um, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's not a big deal. It's like, they're just like, they're normal goals. There's nothing secretive about them. And, you know, you just, all you gotta do is just go to the end of the level. That's all I have to do. Just for two levels. Oh, sweet, I want that one up. Be awesome. Racking up points. Yeah. Obviously, I'm not concerned about that at all. Especially because I just started this, you know. When you save, it's like, you can't really control points you get or whatever. I mean, because it always goes back to zero. Everything just goes back, you know. You're small, you go back to five lives, and you have zero star points, you know. But I'm sure you all know that. Okay, I want to see if this is wor this will work. I don't think it will, though. If it does, it's going to sound normal, but I've heard this somewhere before, and I don't know if it'll work. Yeah, see, it just makes the normal noise. I mean, I heard somewhere that it would make, like, this weird noise of, like, if you had Yoshi spit it out while it was doing that, it would, like, it would, like, slow down, and it would sound funny, but, yeah, I didn't think it would happen. I, I mean, I've tried it before, and it didn't. So, as you can see, I mean, there's two dots, and there only should be one, and I didn't even complete the first Butter Bridge, so, apologize for that, but, I'm sorry. Well, in other news, um, they came out with a release date, re -re release date for Skyward Sword, and it's going to be November 20th, which is on a Sunday. So I'm, like, super pumped about that, you know. Um, obviously I'm just gonna have to go out, like, on midnight and just, like, buy it myself, probably. You know, obviously, well, I, I don't know. And just, I mean, I checked, there's nothing going on then, but that's, it's gonna be an exciting time, guys. It really will be. You know, as, I, as I've said before, uncensored, um, you know, the whole thing's gonna be blind. So, like, oh, okay, I was trying to figure out what I was gonna say, but I just realized... Well, shoot, something about, okay, the playlist, like, you know, because, like, a normal Zelda LP, like, like, let's say Skyward, I mean, you know, Twilight Princess, how long would that be normally? Well, it could be about, like, 100, you know, dead, well over 100. Shoot, I lost him again. Um, yeah, it's just if you're wondering, actually, this is my second take of this, because I haven't done this in a while, as you probably know. But... So, yeah, I mean, there's probably, there could be two playlists, this could, I mean, because it's blind, you know, I don't know how long the game will be, you know, I remember hearing sometime before that somebody, like, some source, they said that, Miyamoto said that, you know, Twilight Princess was just such a huge game, and it was so long and stuff, I mean, so they might be considering shortening it, I'm not sure exactly, I mean, I'm hoping for no delays. That's, 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 cross your fingers, because then, I mean, because right now the schedule's pretty much perfect. It's like, you know, it's not the best thing. I mean, obviously there, there could be something that could come up, like, you know, I could have a project due, or I could have something, you know. That's real. that's really the biggest problem I see with that. And, and like, if Thanksgiving break was longer, that would have helped a lot. If it was all that week, because it's not, what it is, it's, um, it's just the Thursday and Friday of that week, which is like, because 20, you know, the 20th is the Sunday, so it's like 24th and 25th, you know, so it's not very convenient, you know, if it would have been longer, it would have been a lot better, but I'm not really worried about that, you know, I mean, my sleep patterns usually are not very consistent, like, when, when it, with, usually how late I stay up really doesn't, you know, determine how late I'll get up, you know, like, I've once stayed up till, like, 11.30, woke up at 7, when other times I stay up till 11, and wake up at, like, 10, 
you know, and it's just really, you know, obviously because I have a normal thing, I have to, like a normal schedule and stuff, I have to work around. So it's, you know, it's still kind of normal, but it's just, yeah, it's like really, it's not like, like, like I won't feel better even though, I mean, it doesn't mean I won't get up, it's just that I won't feel any better, you know. Like, I'll, I'll be probably really tired even though, like, I went to bed at 9 and then I got up early, I'll be pretty tired. Because, like, for instance, like, Mondays, for some reasons, I wake up in the morning and I feel, I'm like, oh, I'm like, okay, I'm like, I feel kind of good. And then, you know, um, Saturday, you know, the next night, Monday night, and then Tuesday morning, I wake up and I just feel really bad and that happens for the rest of the week. So I know that's a little bit of weird, though. It's like Mondays are good and every other day is bad, but kind of, yeah, for when I wake up in the morning. I don't know, usually when it's like I stay up late for a few days and then the first day of getting up early, it's actually not bad for me, so. Shoot, why did I do that? So here's a little secret I found in my first take. I was very, very surprised. Um, there's a little pipe here. And there was a secret in... Um, like, what is it, like the second castle or something? That it was a lot like that, where it's like it would go into this game. I'm not sure if it's in every castle or in every other castle or what, because, you know, that's the second. Oh my god, we're getting a lot, though. Aw, oh, what? That's crazy. I mean, like, almost every time, the last one would be the middle, the right, and then the left. Like, almost every time, it would be that. Anyway. Shoot, I gotta hurry up. Spin jump helps. It's annoying though that it's right across from the dash button. So like the dash button would be the left one. So like, and for the Super Nintendo, you know, it'd be Y, which would be on the left. Then B would be on the bottom, and A would be on the right. So like, it's Y and A. A is the spin jump. It's like I like I use my index finger. I really don't know any other good way to do it, because you know I just use my index finger, and it's like. So it's just weird, like, I curl up my index finger and, like, use, I use pretty much my nail, but, like, but I don't use my nail, I use, like, the side that's right on, you know, I don't really need it. So it's just, I don't, so if you want to, if you want to use it while dashing, then yeah, it's like, I pretty much have to do that. It's like, I don't really know. I can't, I mean, I can use my thumb for the normal jump and the dash, but I just can't do it for, you know. Yeah. So Skyward Sword is November 20th. It's going to be awesome. Pretty much. Maybe here. Okay, if I can get a jump. Okay, there. That's perfect. There you go. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty much like the fastest time you could really like easily get him because then he goes into the shell and then, you know. So, I think it's pretty awesome. There you go. What for? Um, I don't really have anything else to say other than, oh yeah, um, my PC controller, the controller thing, actually got like a controller for, um, uh, you know, PC, like emulating, you plug it in, you know, USB, and it, it's awesome. Try doing it with PS3 controller, because you know, the charger, you know, you actually, you plug in, like it has a USB end, and you can plug the USB into the PlayStation 3 to charge up that controller. So, like, we thought, like, oh, why don't we just plug it into the computer and try to get that to work? You know? But it's just kind of, like, a little iffy. You know, I mean, we tried it, but it really just sucked. Got a new, got a different controller. You know, and it helps, because we only have one PS3 controller. So, and then this one is just purely for the computer. And it works. Have some emulators, you know, use Viz. Although, actually, yeah. I mean, we use emulators on Viz, which is a website, which is awesome, just with viz.com, I've talked about it before, I know, but it's pretty sweet, you know, it utilizes a lot of emulators and stuff, it's really cool, so I can, and I can use, um, my controller, to shoot, I lose Yoshi all the time, that's another thing about emulators, though, I, you, you normally, you would use save states, and yeah, I mean, so, so used to using them now, that's kind of like, <laughs> you know, when you get hit and like, this is the normal game, you can't just use safe states all you want. Anyway, I'm trying to get this, but the stupid, oh, whatever, I don't need that one up. Um, about the, I guess, emulators, yeah. So, 
that's kind of a reason for the delay, though, is because I've been I've just been playing around with those emulators a lot, Super Mario hacks and stuff, and like just the controller will sometimes be inconsistent and annoying. And I mean, we're still trying to get the whole logistics thing kind of figured out, you know. But until then, it's just kind of like you know. I mean, we have this game, and we also have Majora's Mask. I mean, we've plenty of things to fill right now. It's not like I've also been watching a lot of SSO, HPKC, it's pretty awesome. Um, not subscribed to him though, because he uploads so many videos all the time, it's crazy. You know, he's doing Kingdom Hearts right now, and it's like, obviously I'm not really a big fan of that series. I mean, who is, right? Stupid. No, but, um... Yeah, that's what he's doing right now. He does. He's he's been. He, he's like he's always done a lot of Super Mario hacks. Like he just finds a new one every you know every time. Like he ends a different one, and he just uses those a lot. It's really really cool. Yeah, it is. It's really cool. <sighs> Secret's not that hard. I don't know why I'm sucking so bad. trying to get this. Koopa always kills me. But there you go, it's like, well, I mean, the thing is with these, you know, Super Mario World games, it's like, I mean, on Super Mario World, they never would put the key really far away from the keyhole. Whenever you find the key, it's like, oh, there you go. You're pretty much right at the keyhole. So it's always really simple with that, you know. So I'm at like 12 minutes right now. So I'm gonna try to say goodbye like I did last time. You know? like, I mean, like I did every time, surprisingly. I'm trying to keep this around where I'll do that every time. I don't want that. I'm, I'm not taking that right now. I'd rather be able to fly. So just recently, I was able to complete every level. Shit. God damn it. I know I could have pre pressed select, but whatever. So I've just been recently, but not on this, actually on the GBA version, so, I, and as I've said, this it's, it's a lot easier, actually. But, you know, can't say anything today. Unless I've rehearsed it or something, but I can't say anything. That's pretty cool. Cool combo. Still have no idea what those other weird apple things, the different colored ones, I don't know what they mean. It's like, what's the difference? God damn it, I got that. No! You didn't jump! Oh, oh hey guys, what's up? How's it going? We're back, we're, uh, we're, just, we're just getting the halfway point. Just lost Yoshi. Again, I got a mushroom instead of a flower or a cape. But you know, who cares, right? I'm just here to beat this level and have bad commentary while doing it, right? That's, I guess that's, where all, that's what we're all here for. Awesome stuff. I hate these guys. Though we've already seen a level about them, so you know. Forget a ton of these guys' names, because at the ending credits, there's like a there's like a whole roll call of the names, which I like when they do that in a, in a game. I mean, at least like tell the player what the enemies are. If you have so many of them, you know, like in Zelda, what they do, you know, you can have the fairy tell you the names, or you know, usually they do it at the end of the game. You know, and it's always kind of interesting. It's you know, people actually want to see it because if it's a game they like, they're gonna want to know what the you know what the enemies are. <laughs> 